Hello and uh, welcome everyone to day three of Film Presentation Film Festival. Uh, it's my pleasure, my name is Nico Marzano, festival curator, and it's my pleasure to introduce uh, today's conversation uh, with Chinese artist and filmmaker Wang Bing and uh, Erika Bolsom, senior lecturer in film studies at King's College London and author of numerous writing for many publications including uh, Freeze and Sight and Sound. Uh, as many of you will know, maybe at this stage, from this presentation is a festival that uh, is trying to nurture a space for uh, works that speak to fluidity, to integration, and, and films that uh, uh, try to uh, connect the aesthetics with the political commitment. And certainly one being uh, is an artist that uh, uh, makes of this connection between aesthetics and politics uh, one of the vital uh, core of his practice. Uh, in a way today for us is to uh, resume a conversation that we started with one being uh, in November with Dead Souls when we presented and distributed the film uh, across the UK and uh, and heard from from one being like you know the difficulties of of making uh, films under certain uh, political uh, government and, and certain political um, approach after this conversation we will uh, uh, present one being latest work beauty lives in freedom and uh, there will be also there a small introduction before the film with uh, uh, one being himself uh, without further ado please join me in welcoming erica balsam and wang bing um, thanks so much, Nico, for that introduction. Thanks to all of you for coming. Um, and thanks especially to Wang Bing for joining us to present his new film um, and also speak a little bit about his practice beforehand. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you very much, and good afternoon. Um, right after this talk, um, you'll be showing your new film, uh, Beauty Lives in Freedom. And I was watching it a couple days ago, um, and one of the things that your protagonist, Gao Ertai, says really struck me. Uh, he says, I tell the story just as it happened. I don't want to make things up. I don't need to. What was happening in China was more absurd, more inconceivable than any fiction. And when I heard this, I thought, we might describe Wang Bing's films in exactly this way. Um, you've made one fiction film, The Ditch, in 2010, but everything else is documentary. And unlike many other um, artists and filmmakers working with documentary today, you do not use docufiction. Your films are not hybrids. Um, so. I was wondering if you see yourself in Gao Ertai's words. Um,呃,当然虚构,呃,也很好,呃,但是就是,呃,在中国的虚构和在其他国家或者其他地方的所谓 uh, uh, 虚构是不太一样，是两两回事情。Fiction is um is is great um and um, he agrees with a lot of the fictional stories um but fiction in China means very different concepts from fictions in other parts of the world. 呃，因为我觉得虚构本身是。在艺术里边是我不排斥,而且我觉得我也很喜欢. Um, I'm not um, against um, fiction in arts, and I myself actually quite like it. Um, 但是在中国的虚构有另外一层含义. Um, but there is a different level of meaning of fiction in, in China. Um, 一种就是对于现实世界发生的事情,就是说一种回避。One um, of the fiction is to turn away from reality. Uh, 或者说找到另外一种解释的途径。Or uh, try to interpret it in an alternative way. Uh, 所以高尔泰的意思可能也是有这一层的意思吧,我是个人的理解。that is what um, Gaurtai, the, the character that of today's film, 
what he meant in that um, comment when he made he, that's Wang Bing's understanding what he meant that he didn't want to make up anything. Um, do you think you would ever make another fiction film? Or do you sort of believe also that there's a, a certain power in staying committed to, to reality? Um actually I am preparing for a project, um fictional filmmaking project in Laos and or Burma, but he hasn't really started yet. 因为现实也是一个就是虽然我们拍的都是真实的但是现实本身也是也是由一个艺术家个人的创造或者说是个人的控制所以在某种程度上他也是非常主观性的 um, It is actually quite difficult to really set the boundary between fiction and what is called real or reality because whatever uh, reality that is presented through films or through art is already an interpretation and um, creation of from the, the artist 所以 其实，嗯，对于中国，在中国的话，比如我自己呢，我呃，我一直用就是一个比较直接记录的一种方式，呃，去去拍影片，我觉得这样做呢，就是说，呃，我自己呃，尽量不去改变我拍摄的这些人物
You've made now four films dealing with the anti-rightist campaign um, of the late 1950s, and the fourth one is Beauty Lives in Freedom, which we'll be watching today. Um, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what it is about this subject that resonates so much with you and why you keep returning to it again and again. Uh, you first made um, Fang Ming, a Chinese memoir in 2007, and since then we have The Ditch and then Dead Souls, which played here last year, and now Beauty Lives in Freedom. Uh, <coughs> 但实际上我个人的对于这个的历史，对于反右的这个历史呢，呃，呃，因为是我在我出生之前的事呃的事件，所以我并不是特别的可以说我不是很了解。I uh, got to know the subject um, by chance um, initially, um, and because this movement um, happened before I was born. So I myself didn't really have much knowledge about it. Uh,这个这个人物的一个一个访问的纪录片之后,呃,其实我对于反右呃才开始进入到一个了解的过程,所以这个时候我拍了很多关于死灵魂的素材是在2005年到2008年,然后之后拍了这个The 这个故事片，但是拍完之后，在到了一零年的时候，我才是对整个这个反右运动，经过五年时间以后，我才慢慢慢慢的有一个深入的了解。The first film I made, the Feng Ming, a Chinese memoir, was the, the the beginning of my understanding of anti-rightist movement in China, and uh, I filmed quite a lot of the footage for Dead Souls between. 2005 and uh, 2008, um, before I actually made the film. And then after that, I made another fiction film, The Ditch. Um, and it was until five years later when I started, in 2010, that I think I began to understand, the, uh, to, to know the more general uh, picture, the whole movement. So, <coughs> Uh,我可以说我呃一一方面我有一个中国就是我在这个时代的中国我生活在这个时期，那么我身边发生了很多的事事情，所以我也呃尽可能拍一些当现代发生的故事，但同时中国有一个呃有一个被折臂的历史，
um, because that was it was only last year that I had the chance to get to know him, like where he, his uh, whereabouts and his address. So that's why um, he go, uh, I got in touch with him and made that film. But this would probably be the last film I will make about the anti-rightist movement. Um, the three documentary films you've made about the anti-rightist movement are all very much films of testimony. We can imagine lots of different ways of possibly approaching that subject, but Feng Ming, A Chinese Memoir, Dead Souls, and Beauty Lives in Freedom are all films where we listen to people tell their stories. Um, what for you is important about that process of witnessing um, and listening to these first person testimonies? <咳>因为我觉得首先就是说因为我自己对于观众来讲作为一个作为我自己我觉得我没有没有说当我去讲一个故事的时候我觉得我没有说服力首先我没有经历这个历史并没有出生在这个生活在这个历史阶段当中所
and uh, then he can talk, he can communicate with the, those, the, the, those who have experienced the, the labor camp themselves. Uh, <sighs> 我希望他们自己来谈他们的故事，就是我希望就是说他们故事，他们他能把自己经历的事情讲出来，所以我一般没有什么对他没有任何的限制，就是他随便他来谈都可以。I um, hope they would talk, they just talk about their stories and um, what they have experienced um, the um, memories they have they still have for that period. And therefore, I set no limit, and I wouldn't stop them from at any point of or try to control what they talk about. So, about的这个死灵魂呢，就是我们之前做的这个死灵魂，是就是没有工作没有做完，大概我们只做了三分之一的内容，所以其他部分都没有做，就是可能以后才有机会再做。Um. And the uh, Dead Souls, which was uh, distributed by um, ICA last year, was only one third of the the actual project. And he, in, I have not really completed yet. The uh, the rest of the project, well, I'm hoping that I can I can make them in the future. One of the things that comes up in a lot of these um, interviews are um, very small details that maybe would not appear in official histories if they were to be written. Um, like I think near the end of part one of Dead Souls, you ask a very particular question about how people prepared their food. I believe the authenticity um, lies in all these details. Uh, 我可能会有些疑问，就是说，比如说，对于他做的饭是都是都是什么东西，都是他是什么吃的是什么内吃的具体的食物是什么，其实我可能想知道这些。And uh, I am also curious about so many uh, such details, like the food. What exactly were they eating, and uh, how did they make them? 因为其实就是说 what happens um, to history or something that happened in the past is um, sometimes a certain event be, um, get enlarged or exaggerated and the, uh, the, uh, the other sometimes are the, happened in the opposite way, things are minimalized and um, being forgotten. So for, for, for anything that happened in the past or in history, both possibilities are the same. 呃，另一方面就是对于历史这个概念，就是说对我来说，我个人觉得就是不是说你要去，呃，去，呃，只只讲一件事情，而是就是说我们我们呃怎么能够知道在过去的某某一年、某一天，或者是某呃或者是两某
，就一段一段的时间构成了一个一个一个影片。Um, and also the uh, the concept of history. I think I have different understandings of what really uh, constitutes a history. Um, how do we know, like, for a certain person at a certain year and in a certain day, what during those one or two hours, what he or she has experienced in those in, in that brief period of time? I would like to present that exact moment. Uh, the fragments of history as it it was through all these um, relevant information. Uh, I, 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 在这个世呃，在在过去，比如呃，一九五七年或者一九六零年，那么到底发生了什么？哪些人他们经历了？他们的就是说，在这个当中，他们经历了什么事情？或者说，在他们的在那个时候，他们所发生的那种每一个人的一个一个曾经的一个时间的片段。所以，我不希不希望他是一个。是一个政治的电影。嗯、um, ，I don't really want to make um a political film. I don't make them with trying to make any political comment or criticism. Um, my intention is really for my audience to experience and understand. For example, back in 1957, to a certain character or certain person, what happened. To him or her, and um, what, on his mind, on her mind, what she was experiencing, um, that brief fragment of time, that was what I was trying to capture, and um, instead of any um, political information. So, my responsibility, ah, I think, is to what I want to do, is to say, ah, um. 它是一个，就是说，能够让我们知道曾经发生的这个事情的真实发生是什么样子，呃，到底发生什么事情，那里边的人他们经历了什么样的，呃，经历了什么样的生活，呃，我我希望是这样的，很，啊，呃，希望希望能制作这样一部影片，但是这个电影。它处在一个，因为它它的这个题材本身具有一定的政治性，所以它那么，但是我并不希望它是一部政治的电影，因为我我觉得，那么利用现在这样一部影片去，去就是说站在一种政治的目的，那我觉得这个东西呃不是我考虑的，当然我不回避，但是我更希望的是我们知道。曾经在那么六十年前，到底发生什么事情？我希望把这事情能够讲清楚。My my responsibility or my expectation is to really tell, um, really get close to to the real events of um the kind of life these people have experienced or the kind of life they lived. Um, back into those days. That's why I, I, I make the film. Although the subject itself um, is very political, um, but I really don't want to make a political statement through my film. And um, but also at the same time, I'm not turning away from the political point of views in 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 the subject. Um, What I really want to do is to、uh, to just show back in 1950s and 60s、um, exactly what happened. I want to to hear the clear and、uh, um, complete story out of them. Um, Gao Ertai is a published author and has written books detailing his experience. And I think we could imagine a viewer reading a transcript of Dead Souls and reading these testimonies instead of hearing them. 
Um, and so I wonder what is important to you about these as filmed testimonies that we watch. Um, as much as they're about history, it strikes me that they're also very much about the present moment and about an encounter with someone's body and someone telling a story in an embodied way. Mm 但是我希望是他本人能够站出来他能站在一个影片里边他能直接去告诉人他告诉别人他的生他怎么去经历经历这个反右也好经历文革也好经历一九八零年的这些政治的运动还有一九九八年的这种 呃，八九年的这种政，呃，就是六四等等，他经历的这一期的事情。嗯，Yes, um, indeed, Gao Tai is um very um pub published artist. He has, uh, he he's published his testimonies, and I've read them. Um, but I want him to to tell the story, stand in front of my camera, and stand in the frame, and. Uh, tell people what he has experienced or through all these years, like um, all those so many mm, movements or events like the anti-rightist, cultural revolution, um, as well as the, um, the events around 1989 Tiananmen Square. Uh, 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 我刚好是有那个马德里那个索菲亚当代艺术博物馆他们给我做一个回顾展所以他们同时他们可能要收藏我一部影片所以我也在考虑就是那如果他们收藏我一部影片那我希望他能够收藏一部像高尔泰这样
I was wondering if you could speak a little bit about your relationship to the art context, um, because you make often very long films for cinema. Um, I've often heard people joke and say, oh, there's a new Wang Bing film. It's a short one, only four and a half hours, right? Uh,因为,因为在,嗯,电影里边呢,就是说,因为我做的很多电影都不是属于在像在电影院的这个院线的这种排片,就是商业很密集的这种排片的类型的电影。the films that I make are really not for suitable for the commercial, um, any commercial release, like where they, they have to program it very in intensely through a, a period of time. That's not the kind of film I make. So I will try to say that the material is how to make a story more clearly. So I didn't consider uh, it as well as the film. I didn't consider it as well as the film. I didn't it as my primary concern is to tell the, uh, the the story completely and clearly, which is why um, the 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 habit of audience or how easily you might go through the process is beyond my mind. Uh,另外一方面，就比如说在有一些电影，它本身是在博物馆放映。那么在展览馆放映那感兴趣的人他就会看不感兴趣的人他可能很快看一眼就走了所以他的时间是完全开放的所以我觉得这样的话就是说那对我来说我觉得那就无所谓你可以做一个就是把这个只要这个故事能讲的比较清楚就可
Yeah, 15 hours would be in that category. For people, people are laughing. If you haven't seen it, this was an installation <laughs> um, in a kind of central area um, in Documenta that often people would walk by. And there was a sense that the visitor could leave, but the image would always be there. Um, and it was a single day um, in a, a group of textile workers' lives. Um, also, um, the film about Gao Tai uh, Beauty Lives in Freedom has actually been very seldom circulated among cinema's releases. It's mostly uh, shown through uh, various art exhibitions. Um, Gao Artai himself is um, a writer on aesthetics, um, an artist, um, and he's also, in a way, uh, a documentarian. One of the things he did while in the forced labor camps was write about his experience on small slips of paper, roll it up, um, and hide it in different holes in his clothing. Um, and you've said your films maybe are not political to you, but at the same time, they're political in a sense in that they're not able to be officially exhibited um, in China. And I was wondering if this idea of Gao Artai documenting his experience for the future um, could somehow also be thought of in relation to your work producing films now that might not be able to be seen in China now, but perhaps um, will be in the future. I see myself more like a very simple documentarian. Uh, who I'm a bit still different from Gao Artai. But this is, of course, um, another reason why I'm quite interested in Gao Artai as a character. Because我们知道中国也有知识分子这样一个阶层，那么，那我们可以看从，呃，在过去的五六十年到现在。就是说，中国的知识分子其实对自己身处的这个他们所经历的这个时代，啊，很少有人提出一个比较，呃，比较清楚的，对现实的政治和人和生活一个比较清楚的一个看法。I mm, think Gao Tai represents a group, um, the intellectuals, a group of intellectuals whom. Um, experienced a lot, but very few of them um, actually made um, concise or very honest comment about their reality and uh, um, the, 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 the political situation they lived through. Uh, 作为一个知识分子，他他是尽到自己知识分子的一个职责的一个人。I believe Gao Tai is not really um, documenting those events um, for any political to make any political statement. It's really just fulfill his um, responsibility or um, um, sense of purpose as um, an a um, an educated person. 那么所以我觉得在我的对中国的这个了解的这个过程当中我觉得还我目前还没有就是觉得有其他人能够代替他那么他能把中国社会中国人和这个这个体制呃这种关系能够在他的 
哲学呃，在和和他的这种理论当中，能够非常叙述的是非常清楚的人，嗯，我目前还没有去，当然也许还有其他人，但是我目前还没有，呃，还不是特别了解别人。Um, through my um, encounter or my understanding of um, current Chinese um, published writers or intellectuals, I haven't really seen anyone um, who are, is able to express or express their thoughts about current Chinese society, Chinese people, and Chinese uh, system so um, clearly and concisely as Garatai. Maybe there are. Other um, same masterminds as well, but um, I haven't met them yet. 而这些呢，都是从他从一九五七年一直到一九八九年，那么他一直持续在任何地方都写作，都写的很小的这种小纸片。那这些小纸片，这些小纸片的内容，就是讲的是这些内容，就是讲的是他对整个这个这个社会的思考的内容。Um, he kept recording everything that mainly he thought about um, what was happening to him, what, was hap what he thought about um, um, the world and humanity from in the early 1950s until uh, 1989. He wrote in very tiny characters, um, in very small piece of paper because of the censorship. He didn't want anyone to find them, out, to find them on those his thoughts. Um, he he has constantly been um, very um, pain, painstakingly recording every thought that come to his mind. It's not just um, the actual events, but his thinking, his reflection about what happened. Um, beauty is a very important concept for him, um, and it comes up in the title of the film, Beauty Lives in Freedom. Um, and I think sometimes in documentary filmmaking, beauty, uh, people think of it as a problem. There's a suspicion of beauty as a sort of aestheticization that pulls the image away from reality. Um, and so I was wondering uh, what beauty means for you in your filmmaking, uh, what is beautiful for you, and um, if you see beauty as having a role in your work. Because for Gaur Tai, it's something, it's super important, and for him, it's very much tied to freedom. Uh,其实高尔泰的美实际上就是说，啊，它实际上是在中国呢，就是从美学的和哲学里边的美学里边的一个概念，就是说中国的美学一般就是美是客观客观性。那高尔泰的这种对美学的态度，就是美是主观的
beauty should come from a free thinking environment where you are free to believe in what you think is beautiful. And this is the most important part of beauty to me. Um, we're going to open up to the audience soon for questions. Um, but before we do, you mentioned this film that you have in development in Laos. Um, what's next for you? Is What's the next project?我就是在准备老挝的在老挝的一部影片那么是关于这些女人的故事就这些当然有很多老挝的女人他们来到中国然后还有一些中国的人他们又从中国的内地然后又去了老挝的边境所以就是说两部分人他们都他们过去都不生活在这个边境地区那么现在他们都现在他们生活在老挝和中国的边境上面 the, the, the film about Laos is actually the one that I am working on um, It's about a lot, mainly about women from Laos How they immigrated from Laos to China And also part, uh, quite, um, the population from inland China um, came to live in the border between China and Laos. The, the two groups of people, they, they, they weren't originally from the area at the border, of the two countries' border, but they're now, they have all now moved there, and that's uh, what he was trying to explore. Um,在过去些年,人们开始考虑就是改变自己的生活,寻找新的生活的可能性。那么今天呢,他们 面对今天他们自己的生活又有非常的不跟他们最初想的是完全不一样的这样一种现实。Before um, before they moved, they had all these kind of um, expectations or dreams they wanted to fulfill in a, a new life. Now they already they have started their new life and. Uh, they found there are so many things that are very different from they have originally thought of or, or dreamed of. Um,当然主要还是关于这些一些女人的这种在生活里边所面临的这种选择和他们面临的对就是对于现实当中他们所每一次做出的这种决定的这种。呃，比较，呃，还是靠近，还是我以前做的方式，就是还是比较就纪录片的这样一种方式。因为现在我还没有完全考虑再拍一部剧情片。呃，一方面我们在准备一部剧情片，但同时我们也同时现在就着手在
part of your filmmaking process is very collaborative in that you ask people to um, decide on the, the setting for the interview with you. I, I never really impose any of these requirements uh, to my to my subject. Um, I usually uh, I would mostly just film them as they what they do in their everyday life. I actually had a small follow-up to that. I was wondering in your interview process if you ever mm, push someone to speak when they're not sure that they want to or when it's difficult for them. Um, Dead Souls, rightly or wrongly, has many times been compared to Shoah by Claude Landsman. And there are certain sequences in Shoah where Landsman is really pushing people to speak when Perhaps they don't want to. Um, my sense is that that doesn't happen in your films, but I wonder if you could say something about um, what happens in interviews when uh, there's a, a kind of point at which the subject doesn't want to go on. Uh I think my personality is not a. Uh, I, I'm not a very pushy person. <laughs> uh, when, uh, when my 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 subject um, feels the difficulty, uh, they they don't want to sp uh, They don't want to speak anymore. I'll just stop filming. Uh,所以就是说，大绝大部分的情况下，我都不会去追问。Um, for um, in most of the cases, I would not. Um, keep pursuing the the answer. 但是有时候，有时候也有，就是当然不是说追问，而是就是说，比如有一个人物，他跟我说，他说，哎，我想告诉你一件事情，但是你必须把摄像机关掉。但是我没有关。但是因为因为我觉得，但但在很多情况下我
，因为他是一个医生，所以，所以，啊、呃，因为在五十年代初，中国发生过很多很大的事情，这些事情呢，就从来没有人去提起。呃，有很多事件，比如所谓就是反右运动要还要还要大。当然，反运动是一种政治的，但还有一种，有一些是无声的、无声无息的事情。当然，就是当然，我也没办法解释得很清楚。嗯、um, ，So this character with he's a he's he's a doctor. Um, the 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 event that he 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 told me was tremendous event that happened in 1950s. It's much bigger than the anti-rightist、uh, political movement.、Um, it was um it was never reco- um never reported. It was kind of a secretive and silent thing, big thing that happened. I wouldn't know. Um, so um so he. Um, I really find it very difficult to explain, but、um, those are the moments that I would record, record the truth. Thank you. I think there was another question here in the front. Hi. Speaking about freedom, I wonder if you could tell us if,、um, a little bit about how you finance your films to speak about maybe the. Process of how you go about raising the funding, and、uh, if、uh, these fundings ever come with pressure one way or another, and if so, how do you deal with it? Um. 因为我的电影呢，首先呢，就是都比较便宜，就是用的钱都比较少。那么大部分的钱都是来自于法国的一些电影的机构。Um, for some, most of my my films are usually made cheaply. I don't require a big budget, and um, uh, the majority of my funding comes from French companies. 所以就是从来也没有人限制我，基本上就是我自己随便做。So no one really pressured me to to do anything with my film, so I can do what I want. t h e s a question here. Oh, okay, 用中文问嘛，然后麻烦你翻一下。那我想问一下，就是对死灵魂，一个是镜头语言的选择上，在拍摄家中口述的时候，您直接用一个中景的定镜头全程在那拍，没有说因为人物表情变化去给他一个特写，或者是，呃，他提到什么东西就展示当时一个档案，就是为什么会如此自信的选择一个全程用定镜头去拍摄？而且我觉得您是摄影系出身，但镜头语言如此的朴实，然后。就非常的启发我，因为我自己也在学纪录片创作。然后第二个问题就是在看《死灵魂》的时候，除了影片最后出现了女性作为主体去讲述以外，前面好像都是作为老伴儿很沉默的去附和两句。那请问，那女性作为呃主体的幸存者去讲述，是会出现在剩下的三分之二中，还是在找人的时候确实存在性别的一个缺失的问题？谢谢。让我翻译吗？还是你可以自己用你的手。Um, as um, uh, my question is the first one about、um, the film language. As、uh, uh, I know, you are Wang Bing is from.、Um, he learned photography, cinematography at、uh, film academies, and well, his film language is so simple. For all of his、um, interviews, he just used a medium shot of the character without any change of the the le-、um, of the frames or. Uh, the different shots. Why did you choose this very, very? It's very inspiring. But why did you choose this very、um, minimum、um, approach to your film language? And the second one is about the subject of death souls.、Um, for most of death souls, the、uh, the interview either a male man who survived the e- experience, and so、uh, I'm wondering where are where were the women?、Uh, are they going to be in the two second? The, the the rest two second of your project. Um, because because for this kind of film, I, because it is a 
采呃是一个谈话，所以我一般就会采取一个就是三脚架放在那边的，由他自己来讲，所以很少有什么就是电影的，也很也很少有这种影像的变化，因为我认为就是说没有必要，就是那么因为大呃这个电影大部分的情况下都是通过语言，所以呢那就通过语言来讲这个故事就够了。Um, during most uh, the the interviews or conversations, I usually just set my uh, camera on the tripod and then let it be. Let my subject start talking because I know my stories mostly be conveyed through words, through language. So, for I think all these change of um, cameras or film language uh, are necessary because I um, I will I know my story is going to be um, expressed through words. 嗯、呃，另一方面，关于女人的问题呢，就是，因为在呃，在这样一个农场里边，进入大概一共才有三十多个女人，女人，当然这些女人的故事呢，呃呃，就是，因为我在采访当中呢，我只、呃、真正见到过的只有三个人。嗯，的。Uh, the, the women characters in Death Souls, because I think I believe um, the total population or number of women in the labor camp was a little bit more than thirty, and I've only met three of them in during my interviews. 呃，那么这些女人大部分她们都生活在兰州，所以呢，就是说，呃，因为我现在的这个电影呢，呃，后半部分主要是天水这个城市的人。所以没有故事里边没有出现女人，呃，女没有出现的原因也是就是天水这个地区没有没有这加冕宫里面就是没有女的右派。Um, and、uh, all these survivors, um, female survivors live in the city of Lanzhou, which is the capital of um, Xinxia. 不是，Gansu, um, the capital of Gansu. While the film Death Souls was made in a different city, Tianshui, there were no female survivors in that living in that city. There were questions up here, I think. So recently, we, al we already heard uh, like several artists and photographer lost uh, their contacts in Xinjiang area. So. Uh, including one of my friends, so I would like to ask you, according to your long time experience of making the film in the northwest of China, do you have any suggestion to the young filmmaker which come back to China focusing on some like unspeakable history, how to how show them to deal with the government stuff, the agent and the place, like um, those kind of things? 就是我的问题是，呃，就是我的问题是，呃，我们现在已经最近听到了很多摄影师还有艺术家去关注新疆的人就是失踪了，其中也有包括我的朋友一些人。然后我的问题是呢，您对于您已经有一个很长期的去做这样的事情的一个经验，那对于您来说，您有什么？呃，建议对于这些年轻的电影人或者艺术家来说，去和政府部门和这些国安还有这些人打交道的话，有什么具体的建议或者是举措呢？嗯、呃，因为我是二零零零五年到二零一一零年。一呃，零九年，这四年呢，我在那个地区比较待的时间比较多。那么主要是在甘肃。那么新疆呢，我是呃去过几次，但是都是很短的时间，就是因为因为因为有一些人物他们在新疆这个地区，所以我就去拍摄。但一般我拍摄去的话，就是说，呃，今天去那边，然后最多住一晚上，第二天就返回了。所以我对新疆呢，就是说，所以我的故事呢是在甘肃，大部分是在甘肃和内蒙，还有陕西，呃，这个区域是我那么在过去的五年当中
，我的工作都是在这个地区。那么新疆去的次数呢，只有两两次吧，所以我对新疆呢不是非常的了解。Probably need a bit background uh, for those who are not from China.、Um, the question about Xinjiang is what usually is called Uyghur area, in which is the bordering of a very vast area between China and Russia. And、um, those 90 percent of the population doesn't speak Mandarin or mainland Chinese language, and they are mostly、um, Muslims. I think Muslims, and they're believed to be descendant of Turkey.、Um, it's a Very big,、um, what we call minority group area region in China, and recently there have been many news incidents of reporters,、um, photographers, who went to film in Xinjiang and、uh, they disappeared,、uh, got arrested.、Um, so because of Wang Bing's work was close to that border, though the question was what his advice about how can you keep existing, not disappearing. In the area,、um, well, Wang Bing's reply is、um, because his work is actually not mostly not in Xinjiang. He's only been in Xinjiang twice, and every time, both times was very very brief because some of his characters happened to be there. He would interview them, stay one night, and then leave. And、um, his work is、uh, on on those provinces that is、uh, in the Mongolia, in Shanxi, and.、Uh, Gansu,、um, so those, uh, uh, in Mongolia, so, um, so um, Gansu,、uh, where he, where he filmed the major part of his death souls and、um, the anti-rightist movement, they are also Muslims, but they are mostly、um, Han or Chinese Muslims. They still speak Mandarin, and so those are not the area, but. The, where the censorship or they, they so the national security guards are so、um, ominent,、uh, obvious in, in the area. So、uh, I'm afraid、uh, Wang Bing he doesn't really have much advice for for those who want to explore Xinjiang. 嗯、呃，但是我知道，就是说新疆发生的事情，我也我也听，我也是跟，就是说通过不同的。信息也了解这些最近发生的一些事情。Um, but I am aware of all these incidents you talked about, and I've got my uh, learned uh, through various channels about what happened. 那么，在一六年的时候，一六年我也是因为假边沟的这个故事访问，我去了塔城。那么我，当然我是呃，因为。我平时呢，就是说也比较，其实生活里边也也比较谨慎，就是说我去塔城的时候，是早晨进入新疆，然后晚上就到了塔城，然后第二天采访完了之后，我在塔城就没有住下，连下午的时候就开车又开了一千五百公里，就连续开，就是去的时候和来的时候就一千五百公里，基本上我从来就不停车。就一直开到，然后采访完之后，马上上车，马上就离开了。塔城是塔城，塔城，塔城，对。Um, um, one of the interviews I made in 2016 in Xinjiang in Uyghur, Ta Cheng, um, um, my because of my experience, I'm usually very, very cautious and careful in in my process. So for that interview, I just drove into、um, Xinjiang, the border, in the morning, and drove all the way through there. Made,、uh, did my interview, and drove back immediately without stopping over. And it, and I, and for those 1,500 kilometers, I made no stop. So, uh, because I have the things I do, that is because I am doing my work. 就我，我做，我有我的计划和工作，所以，就说你、啊、很难，就很难去你给另外一个人有什么样建议，因为没有没有什么能给你，没有什么经验能给别人的，所以每个人去做自己的工作，需要自己去想办法。
，真的是没办法，没在很多情况下，我们没办法去给另外一个人有任何建议。嗯。I make my films, I make my plan them myself. It's totally individual. Um, I think it is very difficult to if really advise or give any um, consultancy to anyone else's project. Um, you will have different problems that I would never have, and uh, you will have to think of, uh, find out solutions yourself. Um, the visual ethnographer or observational filmmaker is often portrayed as objective. Are you nevertheless affected by the unfolding material and testimonies? Uh, I'm particularly uh, interested in uh, the field between subject and audience, but also between the director um, and, and, and the subject and the psychological field that rests between um, uh, subject and audience, but also between subject and uh, witness director, a director that has a witnessing role as an observational filmmaker. Um首先就是说首先对于我来讲嗯就是我我对我自己经常就是说我需要相信相信我周围的人或者相信我拍摄的人所以我一直按这样的一个原则我宁可相信别人我不愿意去怀疑别人 um, for me, I, I often say to myself, I, I want to have faith in people around me. I want to believe my subject. I, I don't want to doubt or um, doubt their authenticity or um, suspect the, 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 the truthness in what they say. So, I think it's just that 有时候我就是把自己放在完全是一个就是说电影的工作的一个人那么我把他们的他们想说的话他们的生活我拍下来然后我又把它比较诚实的就是我自己内心感觉我很诚实的把他们的就是说又变成一部电影我这个电影和他
，你有很我的大部分电影都是就是说，就是我认识了某个人。就是我在去什么地方，不管我去云南还是去，去浙江还是去甘肃，就是我认识到一个人，然后我就觉得他的生活比较有意思，然后我就很快决定去拍一个他关于他的一个电影。所以有时候我并没有去想太多，没有说那么那么去考，就是花很长时间就去考虑我到底应该拍一个什么样的人。有时候都是很快瞬间就决定的。Um, I really got get to know most of my subjects、um, very incidentally. I I like during my visit to Gansu to、um, to Shanxi, I get to know someone, and I quickly decide this is someone I wanted to, to film. I don't really carefully or spend long time、uh, thinking what kind of person I want to 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 film. So、um, in in some cases, this almost instantly, I decide that I want to、uh, follow up. Okay,、um, join me in thanking Wang Bing, and I hope you'll all stick around for the screening at three forty-five of Beauty Lives in Freedom. Thank you. <laughs>